what's going on everyone thanks for coming back to the channel uh, today's video I'm going to just do real quick uh, un somewhat unboxing of the safety equipment that I use when I one wheel um, I call it an unboxing it's not really an unboxing because I've already opened the box uh, I'm actually going through two reviews same product but two separate reviews and you'll see why uh, everybody likes to use a higher end pricier uh, style of pads and helmets not knocking them um, I'm you know I'm a big believer in safety and you get what you pay for but I did go on Amazon just to browse and I did find pads that I thought would uh, do the job so I went ahead and ordered them now it was like forty dollars free shipping because of the prime and you had the elbow pads, the wrist guards, the knee pads, and the helmet, which was uh, the biggest thing. So, the first one I ordered was called JBM. See the uh, label right there? Nice matte black style helmet, skater style, I guess they call it. Uh, this one is a size large, and it does say that it is CPSC certified or has a safety standard complies with US CPSC safety standard I don't know what that means but it sounds safe and I think it is good to go as far as protection now I don't I'm not one of those that does tricks I'm a very conservative type of rider uh, I just like the floating feeling so I don't even push it I don't even go that fast so I'm afraid to <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I've only had my one wheel for about two weeks about a hundred miles so um, these things have protected me. I have taken a couple spills and uh, they've done their job so far. Obviously I haven't hit my head because the uh, helmet is still clean. But let me show you the knee pads. Now these were the first ones that I got. JBM, as you can see, I've uh, blessed them already, right? Um, knee pads are good. They are the sleeve type. See, but the elastic, they fit right over the, uh, right over my thighs. I am 5'9", 200 pounds, and these are nice and snug, not overly tight. I don't feel like I'm losing any circulation when wearing them. But uh, as you can see, they got the basic black shell, elastic uh, straps here. Now, I'm not going to lie, when I first saw them, I was like, uh, these aren't going to last too long at all. Uh, the straps do feel a bit thin however two weeks in a couple of spills and no fraying no nothing so they look pretty good um, they've saved my knees saved my elbows quite often speaking of elbows here are the elbow pads same thing as the knee sleeves uh, you slip them right on tighten them down with the elastic I'm not gonna take it out and show you because they're both stowed um, but as far as protection is concerned, check out the elbows. I don't know if you can check out the knees, but no scars, right? Now the biggest thing besides the helmet that I was concerned with was my, my wrists, right? Scuffed knees, scuffed elbows, whatever. I can deal with it. I did not want to break my wrists. You know, people always try to catch themselves with their hands and it's just instinct to put your hands out so I was con overly concerned with my wrists now the wrist pads that the JBM's came with saved my ass quite a bit actually saved my daughter too because she uses these when she skateboards but uh, as you can see how they fit they look like I'm wearing a cast they feel like I'm wearing a cast because look at the uh, flexion in the wrist not really a whole lot which is good I'm not complaining not at all uh, they did what they were supposed to do they've caught all 200 pounds of me and they feel good you know the straps are all one piece they're I don't know what material this is I don't know if you guys can see it but these actually feel really good they're not elastic they are made of the same, I don't know what material this is called, if you know, put it in the comments, but 
they feel like they're gonna last quite a bit. I'm very impressed with the JBM uh, branding from Amazon. I don't know if it's from Amazon, but I found them on Amazon. And I am not complaining about these. Now, I was so impressed with them, I decided to get a second set for my daughter. That way we didn't have to share the pads because she's learning how to skateboard and I'll be off my one wheel helping her. And then when she, she's good for about half hour, hour, and then when she's done, that's when I go riding and I'll take the pads from her. But I decided that we should get our own sets. So I ordered another one. Same vendor, same uh, style, everything. You know, I just clicked buy again, basically. This is what I got in the mail. Basically the same helmet, right? No complaints about the helmet. I like the matte black. The matte black is a cool... Uh, Goes with everything if you like to look cool when you're riding, right? Here's the box that came in. And like I said, I already opened it, so it's not necessarily an unboxing. But I want to share with you what you get when you order from Amazon. And it's not a bad thing. These are the elbow pads. Now, as you can tell, they're a bit different from the ones that I got the first time around. Here are the old ones, here are the new ones. As far as size, you can see there's a bit different, All right? Now the biggest thing is aesthetics. These look a lot cooler, a lot cooler. The shell or whatever this protective case is, uh, it's got all this, I don't know, this design or whatever it is and this looks like a sticker inside, so that's probably going to peel off, but as of right now, that looks super cool. And it's also got the JBM labeling up top here, whereas this is just a strap. Now, this strap also does have the JBM. However, I will say that the strap looks thinner. Okay? These are also sleeve slip-ons. I haven't put these on yet. I, I literally just opened the box. Um, but... If you could see those straps, those straps look a little bit thinner and they're held by this Velcro, obviously, and they go through this D-ring or whatever you call it here. Now the knee pads are basically the same as the elbow pads, just a bigger version. You slip them on, right? You see the, you slip them on. They've got the JBM up top. Looks pretty cool, a little red stitching right here. And, uh, the design on the shell, the protective shell, compared to the older style, which is just all black. And maybe, you know, someone likes the all black or whatever. I like the little details that this one has, just aesthetically. As long as it protects me, I don't care. But as far as looks, I like these a lot more. And then the biggest thing here is the wrist guards now for the newer wrist guards I'm gonna put it put them on for you real quick and then I want to put on the old wrist guards so you can see the difference in them okay All right, old wrist guards, right? Looks like I'm wearing a cast. Uh, the flexion is minimal. Protects you all the way up to that part right there. And look how high it comes on my palm. See that? Now with the new ones, it is a bit smaller and a bit sleeker looking. A lot low key looking. I like these. A lot more as far as comfort and design I like these a lot because it doesn't look like I'm wearing a cast it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a cast now I don't know what that means for protection but as you can see the padding here or the protection here the shell I feel like it's gonna do its job
you know, you tighten down and I, you can see that the pads only come to the bottom of the palm. They don't come down as far on the wrist, but they feel good. Now, when I'm holding my GoPro and the selfie stick or whatever, I actually start cramping wearing these because of the way the pole sits in my hand and there's no flexion. With these, I feel like I'll be able to hold the pole a little bit better. Um, and like I said, they're just so low key that I like, I like how they look. Now I haven't used these and next time I go out, I am gonna wear these just to give them a test run. But basically, that's the difference. Now, like I said, I ordered from the same vendor. I ordered the same style, just hit buy again. I got two different pads. I am not mad at them, not at all. I like them both, they do what they're supposed to do, but I think these look better. Now when you order from JBM, like I said, I think it was like $40, free shipping and such, when you have Prime. Um, they come with a little, little baggie, so you could keep your pads together. I don't use it really, I have a little, uh, basket here that I throw my safety gear in but yeah so same pads same vendor different styles they both look cool but I think I'm gonna keep the uh, the newer version for myself I've got a, enough time on my one wheel that I'm a bit more confident now I'm not again I'm not a crazy rider very conservative I just like to float and I think I'm almost done taking spills like knock on wood I don't nose dive in and, and eat it face first but uh, as far as catching my knees and elbows and wrists I think I'm okay now so we'll give those a test run and we'll see how it goes uh, if there's anything else you want to see as far as one wheeling jiu-jitsu food um, I'm gonna continue to upload some videos I appreciate it if you guys would subscribe, maybe send me a like. It just helps me out, keeps me motivated to do more videos. You know, it's kind of like communication. Just let me know what you guys want to see, and I'll try to make a video about it. And uh, more riding videos, uh, more. Who the hell's knocking on my door? <clears throat> Had to come back. All right, they're doing some. Uh, road work outside my house it sounded like someone was knocking on the door but they're not um yeah if you guys have any questions send me a comment or a dm or whatever it is i don't know this is my one of my first videos who knows how this works uh and i'll see you guys on the next video all right check you out Body. black and one wheel um, so damn what am I doing